So we're at about, uh, sorry, it's really sunny here. Um, we're at about kilometer 10 and a half here. I think we're going to kilometer, yeah, yeah, I think we're going to like kilometer 35 or something like that to try this uh, waterfall spot that I wanted to go to first with some of the morning light. It's about nine in the morning right now. I'm gonna go for 20 kilometers, so we'll be weaving in amongst those and getting in behind all of them. On with the drive, we got a little ways to go. All right, we made it up to, uh, oh, I think it's like the 43 kilometer mark here now. I was wrong earlier, I thought it was 30, so I think it's, we're 43 kilometers in on that gravel road. And uh, here's the waterfall I scouted out the other day. And we just missed a little nice shot of morning light there. But I think if we uh, hang out for a little bit, it looks like there's probably more uh, clearings and coming in the sky. So we'll uh, yeah, wait a few minutes and then uh, give this one a flight. And I'm just gonna fly this. I don't think I really can do much more around here. I'm just gonna go out and do uh, several passes around the waterfall sort of area along the cliff and diving the waterfall and the cliff. But it's so close I can you know, have a half dozen tries at it or something. Then we'll pack up and move on. Show them our flight spot here. We're just perched on oh, the yeah. side of the road. Yeah, this, a lot of these spots had good places to stop at, but this, we're just uh, literally sitting on the side of the road, but I haven't seen any activity on this road really the last, the last couple times being here, but uh, a logging truck could still get by us there if it had to. All right, I'm gonna get finish getting ready just in case the light pops out. We waited for a break in the clouds and started the flight as soon as the sun came out. Just starting off with an easy dive here at the beginning to get warmed up and take a closer look at things. You need to be careful here and make sure to stay clear of the trees at the edge of the cliff. Now I'm flying the reverse path the drone will take during the dive, so that I can be sure the video signal won't be interrupted. Losing video in my FPV goggles at that time would almost certainly result in the drone hitting the rocks. Great, the connection seems to be good. I should be able to dive down through this gully without losing any video signal. My aim is to dive down the cliff to the bottom of the waterfall and then follow the water through the gully. I chose that spot back at the side of the road because it has line of sight into the gully, allowing me to fly through it without losing the video connection to my FPV goggles. The most important part of diving something is the point at which you lower the throttle and point the drone towards the ground. We call this the entry because it's the point at which the drone's level or ascending flight path changes and it starts to dive downwards. By entering the dive in a good location, it's easier to get the drone up close to the object you're diving. I need to figure out where I want the drone positioned during the dive, and then find an opening in the trees so I can safely get in close. Alright, I think I just spotted a good opening in the trees right in the corner of the cliff. I'm going to reposition for a different approach and give it a try. This is it. I'm going to enter the dive right there, but next time I'll try and get in closer to the cliff face. Now that I've chosen an entry point for the dive, I need to find a nice cinematic path that captures the scenery as I approach that entry point. This path gets the waterfall and cliff framed nicely in the shot but I'm too low down for a good approach to the desired entry point. I'm going to try approaching from head on. I think it might be a nice reveal of the waterfall as I get over the closer rocks and trees just in front of the drone.
I'm going to give it another try now with a completely different approach to the same entry point. I still have plenty of battery left, but I'm using lithium ion, which has more voltage sag than a lipo, especially during the burst of throttle required to pull out of a dive. So I'm not going to push my luck and decide to head back now. Besides, the last few dives went well, so I'm pretty sure I got some good shots in the GoPro footage. Well, that worked out great. We waited about uh, 15 minutes and then the, the sun came out and the clouds cleared a bit. Got some great uh, lighting for that thing. So hopefully that footage turns out nice. Just did a whole bunch of different uh, waterfall approaches and dive approaches on there. A little bit of spray to fly through. That always worries me a little bit, even though I've got it conformal coated, but uh, that was good. I really enjoyed that one and great lighting. Awesome. The clouds seem to be uh, working with us for now. That turned out really well, eh? It did turn out well. There is a, a cool rainbow that you were flying through too from the spray. Oh, oh yeah, I'm sure. I think that'll probably, that usually does turn out on the GoPro. Yeah. Yeah. It's a rainbow dive. All right, on to the next spot.